Hello! Today we're just going to do a little video tutorial of a mixed media painting. So what we're going to use today is some cereal boxes. So if you're at home and you don't have any canvases, always know we can go green, cut up our cereal boxes, and do a little painting on them. So we're going to do a moon goddess today. So we've got our, our um, cardboard ready. We're gonna do something really simple. I want you to go to your cabinet, find a bowl. That's gonna be our moon. So let's put that bowl right there. Trace our moon, there it is. Now choose a few colors of acrylic painting always go with white and I've got a little tiny bit of black and a little tiny bit of blue. Once you've got that together you're gonna mix that in. Let's put this right here so you can see it. We're gonna mix that around and we're gonna start working on the background. So I like to use a lot of white and you want to mix it with your color. So pick a color that you like, maybe blue or purple or however you think the night sky should look. Now, if you choose black, you want to use just a little tiny bit of black because it's going to go really far and it can overpower the, the picture. So right now, all I'm going to do is paint around the moon. So while you're doing that, we'll take a little break. Okay, now that we've got the whole back painted, I still have my moon. I went through and I outlined a little bit more of the moon. Now let's go find another lid. This is a lid off of a jar. We're gonna place that lid here. Now, this is going to be the head of our goddess. So let's move it around a little bit here. We're gonna lightly trace here. So that's gonna be a head. Now, very easily, all you're gonna to have to do is we want her body to come down this way. We're gonna put it about right there. There's gonna be the body, see that? There's a head and there's a body. Now, now's the time where you really wanna get a little bit creative. You can do this part any way you like. We're gonna add her some hair. So I'm just gonna guess that I think that I want her hair to be kinda of crazy. So I'm gonna go like this like this, like that. So that will eventually be her hair. Next step is I'm gonna paint that face in. So if you don't have a skin color that um, you like, or, that, or if you just plain don't have skin tone, so there's mine, you can take white, brown, and just a tiny little drop of red, and that'll get you a flesh toned color. So once you've got that together and you want a flesh tone, you could you don't have to though, you could go with white or brown or any color that you want. I'm gonna paint this in. Kind of moving it around her hair. So I'm just gonna lightly put that skin color in there. Nice and easy, right like that. We'll let the first layer dry. And then this is gonna be the body part. So on this particular one, we're gonna have her not have any arms, unless of course you just want them. So it's gonna be kinda of like she's in like a cloak or a robe or has a blanket wrapped around her, something like that. So there's her face there. 
Now let's decide what color do we want for this base part. How about I still have, oops, sorry, there, I still have a lot of blue left. So I think what I'm going to do is use that blue. So I'm going to paint her little dress in with the blue. You can use your brush here. If you want, you can go and use your fingers. You can use whatever you like. Add a little bit of more white in there so I can get a little bit of a contrasting shade of blue. And then I'm painting her all in. Once she's dry, you're going to outline her again. That's what I did up here as well. I was letting that dry, or after it was dry, I went back through with my pencil. It was a colored pencil. So there's that. The face feels a little bit more dry now, so I'm going to add another layer of that skin color in there. Now I'm going to put down a little bit more white on my palette. There it is. And while that body part is drying, I'm going to turn this around and then we're going to add some white in to the moon. Now remember I'm going to have her hair right here. So I'm going to go on and add white into my moon because this is going to be my full moon. Again, you can just use your fingers here, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want. Now I'm going back over this. I'm going to put my um, white down just a little bit thicker. I want to make sure it covers up that cardboard from the box. But what I also want to do is I'm going to get a nice big thick layer of that white on here. And then we're going to grab a paper towel. Let's get a paper towel from the kitchen. So you're going to take your basic paper towel, mine's dirty, so get a clean one, and you're going to lay it down on top of that wet paint, and then we're going to pull it back. And look there, you get a little bit of a design from your paper towel. Depends on what was, this was a sparkle paper towel, so they have circles. So there's just that little bit of design there. I'm fixing that little spot there. There's that. So that's the start of the moon. Remember that was her hair. So what we'll do there is I want to add some hair. What color do I want it? I think what I'll do is I'm going to take a little bit of this white, mix it in with a little teeny bit of black. It might be too much there. And I'm going to give her sort of grayish hair, almost like a silvery hair. So there's mixed. I'm going to come in here. Give her some crazy hair. That 
that's going to be the first layer. She's going to have a little bit of a silver touch to her hair. We're going to come back over in just a minute and add some more. You can do your little swirly hair. You can do your straight hair. This is where you can get your creativity on and figure out, do you want straight hair, curly hair, long hair, no hair, you could go bald. Whatever you like. What I do is I just kind of keep going over it. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of black. Be careful with that black. Look, I got too much there. I'm gonna come back in with the white. Just making swirls. Swirls and swirls. So there she's kind of swirled there. There's a little bit of crazy hair. Grab your pencil, your colored pencil, or your crayon here. I'm going to sharpen my pencil again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of outline her face. She might still be a little too wet. I might have to stop here and let this dry for a little bit. And I'm going to take that same pencil. I'm coming down this way. her little head. We're going to let that dry a little bit. Now what I was thinking, and this is totally up to you, I think I might have her maybe with some prayer hands. So the way I like to do the prayer hands is I start with just a line. Can you see that? Just a line. Okay. Now from that line, let's take and make a triangle. See our triangle? Now we're going to make a triangle on the other side. There we go. There's going to be her little hands. Now I'm going to take this and make it look like a sleeve. So there's that. And there's that. And there's that. Grab your paintbrush again. You still should still have some of that flesh color right there. I'm going to paint her little hands in. It's like almost like a diamond right there. Now when she dries, I'll re-put that line right there. So we're going to get this. I'm making this a little darker. We're going to have these a little darker. And there she's starting to come together. So once the face is dry, mine feels like it's pretty dry. So if your face isn't dry all the way, Set it out in the sun, put the blow dryer on it. We want to get it nice and dry. This lady is going to have her eyes closed. So that's just a little line right there. A little line right there. She kind of looks like she's a little... <laughs> Here, let's straighten these up a little bit. <laughs> I don't want her to look angry. Straighten this up a little bit. Oh, we'll do some eyebrows. That'll help. Little eyebrows. So look, it's all just little lines. That's all it is. We can just do a simple line for the mouth. Or you can add some little lips. And maybe a little nose. Now I'm going to grab a Q-tip. I'm going to kind of lighten that up a little bit. I'm 
Now, what's really going to help make this moon look like it's glowing is we're going to add a ring of chalk. Now, do you have regular chalk, um, like your sidewalk chalk you could use? You could use just the kind of chalk you do on your chalkboard. Look around, find some chalk, grab a Q-tip, and then we'll go to the outside of my line. That'll kind of give a little bit of a glowing effect to the moon. And there's the moon. Now I'm going to take the other end of my Q-tip. I'm going to grab a piece of brown chalk. If you don't have brown chalk, not a big deal. You don't have to do this. But I'm coming around her face, and I'm just giving her just a little bit of a shadow to her face. I like to do it around the eyes. Kind of give her appearance of a little eyelid. Around the cheeks. Now, if you've got pink chalk or some red chalk, we can give her some little cheeks. Oh, how about blush? You can get your mom's makeup, put some blush on her. There's her little cheeks. Now grab a marker or a colored pencil, whatever you've got, crayon. How about a crayon? Gonna go through here, I'm gonna give her some lipstick. Maybe use some, maybe use some of your mom's lip gloss. I don't know, use that. There we go. I'm darkening up her eyes just a little bit more. I don't know if my hands are all the way dry. Okay, so what happened was I hit this camera and did not know that it stopped going. So I missed out on a whole part. And it was the most fun part of this whole project, which is splashing on the stars. So what I want you to do is take your leftover white. You're going to add some water to it. You're going to make a little puddle. You're going to grab an old paintbrush or you're going to get a toothbrush and then what you do is you can tap 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 and that leaves little little white splotches which sort of look like stars if you have some glitter you could spray some glitter on there and that's just about it after you let it dry, you can sign your name because you're the artist, or you could add an affirmation, maybe put some words or something on here, just whatever you think might be cute. And there she is, a little moon goddess.